Last, huh? Yeah. We've known each other for so many years. We've never been able to work together before. Never had the opportunity. I know. Well, it's about time. I know. You, you know. You know. You and I have so much to talk about. I know. So much has happened to us. We could talk about it forever. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we better sing. <laughs> huh? Shall we sing or something? You want to sing? Yes, sir. So. Well, all right. That's uh, a good idea. Okay. Or maybe, uh, better still, maybe we shouldn't. That song that you sang when you were about oh you were about four I think we were we were playing back and and you were humming a song that song I sang yeah and you told me you wrote it and I believe it I still do believe it what was it sing it for me I wonder if you give me an arpeggio beautiful H A double R I G A N spells Aragon right 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 I'm proud of all the Irish blood that's in me and I divil a man that says a word again me a double R I G A N U C. We couldn't even spell, and he said he wrote it. It's a name that the shame never has been connected with. Harrigan, and that's me. I think I did, really. I think I did myself. <laughs> The two a day. Wait a minute. Weber and Field Wait a minute. and Wait a minute. Smith and Dale. You're talking about good old Vaudeville. We Smith in, and Dale. Oh, they sensei. were in good Vaudeville. We were in rotten Vaudeville. <laughs> well, we sang some great songs. Great songs. Well, they were different. Hey, listen, and how about this hard tucker? Hard tucker. Hard tucker. Well, that's a new word. That's right. Everybody remember that hard tucker. <laughs> Wait a minute. Art Tucker? In those good old days of Portland, that's even the wrong song. You can. You ready? Yeah. Hold it! Wait for me, will you please? What was I going to say? Oh, yes. Chucking Yala, some 
up about 300 feet with me. Why don't you do a little work instead of sitting around talking so big? I have been working. You have not. Well, you're almost finished. There wouldn't be enough for me to do now. Here's the needle and thread you wanted, Patrick. Don't call me Patrick. I'm sorry, Pat. Give it a scotty. 
Gee, you look nice, Patrick. Pat? Oh, stop it. You always look so nice. How many shirts have you got? Mm, I don't know. You wear a clean one every day, don't you? Not if I can help it. Small fry, dancing for a penny. Small fry, counting up how many. My, my, now you just listen here to me. You ain't the biggest catfish in the sea. You signed your own report card last night. Well, why don't you learn how to write? And then you'll be a real success. Yes? Yes. Oh. oh, scientists have known for a long time now that exploding sunspots are regularly putting shortwave radios out of commission and decreasing the Earth's magnetic field. Magnetic fields. You kidding me? Let him have it. He asked for it. Well, people used to be surprised when the radios would suddenly go dead. Now they know that these phenomena occur every 54 days. And for several years now, scientists have been making observations with their spectroheliscope uh, and... Had a boy. What'd you pray for, Tom? Uncle Silas, mostly. Didn't you? Oh, sure. And for things in general, too. Like rain with fishing. Maybe you oughtn't have prayed so hard for rain, Huck. Yeah. I guess maybe you overdone it. Listen, I want to tell the two of you something. You better quit banging me around. Or the first thing you know, I won't be in the act. What's that you say? I said I got an offer from Gus Edwards. You got an offer from Gus Edwards, did you? Oh, Gus Edwards, you? Gus Edwards, huh? Gus... Stop it! Now stop it! Gus Edwards! Now that's uh, it! Now he's got to go to school. Oh, wait, Lil. Look, we're the best acting board of all today, ain't we? All right. My dad, Phil Dolan, the first, never went to school. Phil Dolan, the second, never went to school. And Phil Dolan, the third, ain't gonna go to school. Yeah. The face on the bathroom floor. Gee, and that was the most exciting part, too. You can read this junk after you finish 20 pages. And no shenanigans. Want to make something out of yourself, don't you? Look at me. Every minute, every spare minute, I'm trying to improve my skull. I've always got my nose in this. I thought you promised to leave the horses alone. I did. I'm not bothering them. What do you mean? I just, in my mind, I'm just marking them. When you picked me up, you didn't have a dime, did you? Uh, no. Well, how much have we got now? $1,245.65. Well? Okay. Okay. Look. He's got a Bible. Lay off, you. Gonna read it, Butch? I've been reading it. It's part of the job. <laughs> There's a bunch of terrific stories in it, too. In that? Yeah, in this. Did you ever hear of a guy named Go... Uh, Go... Uh, Goliath? No. Who? Then you never heard of a little fellow named David who croaked him then, did you? You think these public enemies have got something? Say, they're just small time. This guy, Goliath, was a giant. Ten feet tall. Him and his mob was trying to muscle in on another guy's territory. So what does the other guy do? He sends out his front man, this little fellow named David, to tell him where to head in. Now get it. This little feller don't even pack a gas. All he's got is a measly slingshot and a hunk of rock. But when the big gill hooly starts to lead with a meat axe, does the little guy twin tell you? He does not. He winds up that slingshot like a big league baseball player and conks a big bozo on a bean. Knocks him cool. What a guy. The chaplain will now invoke the blessing. Heavenly Father, we pray thee guide us in all our work, 
Send thy peace to our nation and to all nations. Hasten the fulfillment of thy promise of peace that shall have no end. We pray for those who serve the people and guard the public welfare, that they may be enabled to discharge their duties honestly and well, and strive earnestly for the spirit of democracy, and preserve untarnished our loyalty to our country and to thee. Especially do we ask thy blessings and comfort to those defenders of our country on sick beds. Share them and bring back to them the blessings of health and happiness. Remember lovingly the departed comrades of our fathers. May their splendid example guide us ever in the path of our duty, now and always. Amen. You want to make something out of it? Go on, scram. You heard me. Beat it! Hey, you two! Are you going to light that lamp without covering up that window? Dad. Come on, come on, cover up the window. Go on. How'd, how'd you get out of jail? One of the guards made a mistake. You won't make that mistake again. Eat? Not here, but I can go down to the lunch wagon and get some from Aunt Emmy. How is Aunt Emmy? Fine. Do you want me to run down there? Oh, no, no. Now, you stay here with me. Come on. Are you going to stay here? No, why not? Every cop in the state's looking for me. This is the best hideout I know. Can't you find some other place where you'd be... I'm staying right here. But you can't. I told everybody you was dead. <laughs> you know, Mug, you want to forget what you was telling them kids out there. You start worrying about taking care of me. Can't you get out so nobody can see you? You'll get out in a couple of weeks. You'll do as I say. I won't go. You're going with me. I'm not! Well, yes, you are. I'm not! Oh, no. Now, ain't you ashamed to talk to your old man like that? It's an automobile. If I thought you'd opened your trap, I'd... Oh, I'm no squealer. And you're here to squeal. You're driving. Quit stalling. Get going.
One of the most recent big clicks and picks is a lad who's been in show business all since he was old enough to slip his ten little piggies into tap shoes. I'm referring to 18-year-old Donald O'Connor, Mr. Big, himself, soon to be seen in New Universal's forthcoming comedy, The Chip Off the Old Block. I get a great jar out of watching Don's rise to stardom because I had the honor of supporting Donald O'Connor in one of his first films, a picture called Sing You Sinners. 
because he made his first coast-to-coast appearance on the wireless right here in the old Kraft Music Hall. Greetings, Donald. Oh, funny, Bing, that's exactly what the president said to me. (laughs) (laughs) And I know it's one piece of casting that you relish, eh, Don? Check. You know, a couple of years in the Army will give me a chance to realize my ambition. Well, it's made a man out of many a boy. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know, out out of Universal Studios, they keep me they keep me in those young parts. Well, let's not knock that kind of flattery down. Well, I keep telling him that I want to be more like you. Oh. <laughs> Spanish for bed, Don. Is it your idea to uh, to plug an occasional ditty? You mean like I do? No. You'd prefer to be able to uh, act the way I do? <laughs> no. <laughs> What, may I ask, is it that you want to do like me? Look old. I'm leaving. (laughs) Five years ago, back around 1938, son, you were small fry. Ah, yes, six years ago I said to you, and I I remembered it well. We were walking home from a movie called Sing You Sinners, and I said to you... Small fry. I caught you out at the race back. You was betting on them ponies. Why, listen here, fat fry. No, sir. guy, why, you pick all the ponies. My, my, my. You just listen here to me. I know. I ain't a big catfish in the sea, ba 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 boo. You got a pinnacle deck in your pocket? What happened to Mom's wedding ring? Did you hock it? Oh, yeah. Not so loud. Oh, yeah. Quiet. Watch it. All right. You signed your own report card last night. Well, why don't you learn how to write? And then you'll be a real success. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah.
Whenever I'm a little on the weary side, I like to turn the lights down low and dig myself a little of the homicide they send you on the radio. You know the type of show. Dark night, a knock at the door. Bang, bang, there's a body on the floor, oh boy. I love a mystery. Two men are out on a boat. One guy has a dagger in his throat, oh boy. I love a mystery. Murder, murder. On the air, corpses, corpses in your hair. Stranglers, gangsters, maniacs. Ah! It's so relaxing. New clue, a hanky of lace. Aha, there's a woman in the case. But where, where doth she roam? There's moaning, groaning, sirens, bells, frantic, phoning, screeches, yells. How I love a mystery for a quiet evening at home. You, you, were that innocent face. This time, you're the woman in the case. Yes, you, you're getting away with murder, too. You're fooling my whole family. But, baby, you're not fooling me. Because I love a mystery and a home. What I know about you. Charles. 